Hey YouTube, this is IBA, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad using Snowbreeze. And Snowbreeze is pretty much a custom firmware application. If you guys don't want to get, you know, all the extras and whatever, um, click on the screen right now for my Green Poison jailbreak. It is just the simplest jailbreak you can have. Um, but this one is kind of beneficial for a couple of people. If you have an iPod Touch 2G and you want like multitasking and the background and all that stuff enabled, you can enable it with this. Now the equivalent to Snowbreeze is Ponage Tool and uh, that is for Mac users but since I'm on Windows I'm just going to show you guys the Snowbreeze version Mac users it's pretty much the same process. Alright, so um, what I would suggest you do is when you get Snowbreeze from my file down below, I'll have it in the link down below, and uh, you're just going to extract it, right click on it, and you're going to go down here to properties, and you are going to go to compatibility mode, and let me just zoom in for you guys right here, uh, compatibility mode, and then you're going to run in any of these XP service packs and then you're also going to run it as administrator so make sure you click on that and then you can just go in here to apply and then let it apply and hit OK alright so that's that now you can run the program let me just show you guys that my iPod is indeed a fourth gen I don't know if you can see but cameras right there on the back and the front cameras right there um, so if you guys have a 4th gen, it does work for it. And then, so you're just going to slide to unlock. I'm on a fresh restore, just for the sake of uh, having a pretty easy jailbreak. Come in here to general, about, and right there is my version, 4.2.1. Alright. So I, I do have it plugged in, and we're just going to go ahead and get onto this. So, double click on Snowbreeze, and click yes, and then just click OK right here and then you can just close the credits and this is version 4.2.2 of Snowbreeze 4 iOS 4.2.1 alright so it says welcome to Snowbreeze please get all your files ready and click next to continue uh, files that you're gonna need you're also gonna need your um, your firmware and you can get that from the link down below as well and uh, you just get it for the device that you have and just make sure it's for 4.2.1 Alright, so now it wants me to browse for the IPSW file that I just told you guys to get. And mine is going to be right here, iPod Ford, comma 1, 4.2.1, restore. So double click on that, it's going to verify. And it is done. So it found my IPSW and it's been verified. Now you can click the next arrow. Now what you're going to want to do here is go into expert mode and this will have all the custom customization options if you just want a really simple one you can do simple mode or you can jailbreak with my green poison jailbreak either one so we're gonna go with expert mode click the blue arrow continue alright so now we're just gonna go right here to general and we're going to just kinda enable a few things around here if you guys want animated boot logos we can do that I recommend installing SSH this allows you to uh, go ahead and read this right here. I already know what it is. We we'll go ahead and read it for you guys and write it down. Um, this allows you to like put in and edit themes, deb files. Um, I have city of fix videos, uh, just all that good stuff. So that's how you can fix any issues you have with your device without having to completely restore. All right, and also just keep the the root partition size where it's at. And then one other thing, if you have or if you're on an iPhone, you can activate the phone using Hacktivation. And that's pretty much it. If you want to install, let's say you're on a second gen uh, iPod Touch or like an iPhone 3G, um, you can enable background wallpapers, battery percentage, and the native multitasking. So uh, that's just for you guys. And then you can go ahead and click Next when you have all of your things there. Right here is a pretty good section. Um, you can manage sources. You can install .deb files and packages. 
um, I'm going to go ahead and start adding a few sources that I want and I will be back when I'm finished alright guys so I have finished that step and after you have done all these customization things that you want you can just go right here to build IPSW and click the blue arrow and it says while you're waiting you can play Pac-Man and I'm just gonna try I know for some re some people it doesn't work and yeah it definitely did not work for me so I'm just going to return back to this and when it's done extracting the IPSW I will be right back alright guys so it is done and it says Snowbreeze has successfully created your IPSW this file will be located on your desktop press OK to follow the on-screen instructions to put your device in a restorable state so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and you have to plug it in and slide the power off alright so mine is plugged in and I'm just going to power it off right now and there we go slide the power off and alright guys so that is it now you just go in here to the start and click on start and it's going to prepare to press home and power so pressing home and power right now for 10 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 and I'm going to release the power button and keep holding the home button for approximately 30 seconds alright so I'm still holding it and there we go iTunes has detected it so you're just gonna keep holding keep holding alright so it's now you can let go so as you can see right here it says the device is now in a pwned DFU state black screen you may now launch iTunes and shift restore to the custom Snowbreeze IPSW located on your desktop note if you get this error in iTunes after extracting just unplug and replug it in and do it again and click OK um, you don't have to do that the last part I'm going to show you guys a uh, cool little trick to get it out of uh, that issue alright so we're just going to click OK and we're just going to wait for Snowbreeze to do what it needs to do and here we go so you can click OK on iTunes now and you can if you're on a Mac you're going to alt restore but since I'm on Windows I'm going to shift and click restore okay so I'm going to shift and click and it will bring up this extra window here and you're going to choose the Snowbreeze IPSW right here now you can just click restore and it is just going to do what it needs to do on a normal restore so it's going to just extract the software and then you'll see your device do a couple of things and uh, it will install Cydia so but I'll show that as it goes alright so the Apple logo is up now and I'm pretty sure here we go there's the Snowbreeze icon and uh, it's gonna go ahead and do the restore alright guys so we can see some progress here iTunes is, has its little bar here and it has the same thing on the uh, iPod or iPhone or iPad, whatever you guys are using. So, a um, little bit of progress. It may just take you know probably about three or four minutes, and uh, it'll be pretty much finished. Uh, I just kind of want to go ahead and take the time to tell you guys that this Snow Breeze is available for all iDevices. This one will work on all devices. If you guys have a Mac and you have to use Ponish Tool, it will not work for the iPod Touch 2G. Um, MC and non MC. So if you guys haven't, you know, have like a friend or somebody who has a Windows computer, I would definitely suggest borrowing theirs if you have an iPod Touch 2G and uh, you are forced to use the Ponage tool. Um, in that case, just use this Snowbreeze method and you should have your device jailbroken just fine. And like I mentioned earlier, this jailbreak is more on the customizable side of a jailbreak whereas my green poison video is more on the easy quick and just straight to the point jailbreak so um, this one like I said you can enable multitasking and all that other good stuff so my device is pretty much finished and uh, it's just on a little bit left so hopefully that will just be a couple more seconds here alright guys so it is finished and it's just going to ask me to uh, click OK here, just saying that uh, it is back to factory defaults and whatnot. And uh, so it seems that mine has worked. Um, if it does not work, I will show you guys in a second what you guys can do.
um, you have a couple choices. You can just simply try again, or you can go ahead and uh, just use Recboot. And Recboot is a very simple application where you can just plug in your device and you can exit recovery mode. And that's what it will do. If it does fail at the end, you probably just want to try this. Just go ahead and click, go ahead and make sure your device is plugged in like mine is and then just click exit recovery mode but mine did work successfully so I don't have to do this alright guys so my device is done and I'm just going to slide to unlock here and you now have Cydia so if this helped you go ahead and subscribe up top thumbs up and comment down below and uh, also like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter if you guys don't really like this style of jailbreak check out my green poison video it is just probably the simplest jailbreak and uh, this one is just basically, like I said, for more customization, alright? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.